The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Victoria, Texas, weighing 250 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. The man who could unquestionably spoil the comeback attempt of Bret the Hitman Hart. You talk about qualifications, King. This man, Stone Cold Steve Austin, could ruin Bret the Hitman Hart's career. You know, JR, I saw Steve Austin a few years ago in the Sportatorium down in Dallas, Texas. And you could see the greatness, the potential greatness. It's all about attitude, then and now. An attitude, I might add, that is somewhat appreciated by this capacity crowd. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett. Hitman Hart! The Hitman, Bret Hart, looking to electrify this capacity crowd. And everyone, and I mean everyone, are on their feet. Well, he's back. He ain't no clown. He ain't no trash man. He's a fierce competitor. And so is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what it's all about, JR. Wrestling, competition, intensity, athleticism, and drama. And we're going to experience it all in this one match here tonight. Well, this should be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. This should be great. Brett the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound. Austin likes to brawl. Oh, likes yeah. To, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. For the, oh, the look at that. oh my goodness! Oh, you're number one in the heart. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here they go. The black heart of the Texan, Bottle No Bow Tie Up, and it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asked for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh oh I think Timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension. You could feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin used the sharpshooter to make Bret Hart submit? That'll knock you silly. Turns it around on him, and what a move. Austin in full control. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Well, he's the guy his opponent, and what's he going for here? Look out. He's got his sight set on the neck region. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. And now Bret Hart pushing forward. You have to wonder, as this match wears on, whether or not the effects of those devastating holes and blows of Steve Austin will take their effect on Bret Hart, considering the hitman was off for six months.
And for some reason, it's been an obsession with Austin and Bret Hart over the years. And what an opportunity for Steve Austin to make a name for himself at the expense of Bret the Hitman Hart. It sort of reminds me of the, of the Gunslinger days. Everyone wants to be the fastest draw. You're right, JR. Everybody wants to notch their gun. Just making his presence felt there. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. The knee connects. You know, doing some checking, neither of these two men have ever submitted in a match in their entire career, JR. Both men with strong wills, King. Proud hearts, neither willing to give an inch. Well, I believe it's going to come down to a submission in this matchup, which would obviously be a first. And how humiliating it would be for one of these guys to give up right here in New York City. How ironic would it be if Stone Cold Steve Austin placed the sharpshooter on Bret Hart and won by submission? If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Cal Look at this, Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Bret Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another Bulldog. But oh. off the counters, oh. there's Hart sternum first into the turnbuckle. Oh man, look at this, JR, both men down. Austin with the offense. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. Four. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Five. Six. Calgary's own Bret Hart Seven. looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. like he's going for a high-risk maneuver. You gotta move quicker than that. From the high rhythm distance. Looks like a visit to the Two. chiropractor's office will be in order after this one. Well executed offense. Three. I'm not sure I can watch this. Nicely done. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one oh. moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. to do it here. Wow. Austin's just opening a can. Incredible move by Steve Austin. The shoulders are down. One, two. Bret Hart being overwhelmed here. A tough jawbreaker there. This guy's just too strong. Bam! 
The Hitman's been busted wide open. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. And his attack misses. This has been physical all the way through. But I tell you, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin's got to be asking himself, what does he have to do to beat Bret Hart? Can he do it? Oh, look at this. Austin with that diversion of the million-dollar dream, but it's countered by Hart. Hart's ah. shoulders down, and Bret the Hitman Hart countered Austin and pins the last snake. Hart has earned a shot now at the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin had that, had that finishing maneuver locked in, but he wouldn't let go when, when Hart was on the ropes. That's what really cost him the victory. The million dollar dream cost Austin maybe a million dollars. This rivalry is far from over. I guarantee you that, my guy. 